Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, my name is Marco and today I will be watching Steins Gate Zero, episode number 20. I'm very excited uh, because what we saw last episode, I like the new dose of hope that we are getting. The vibes throughout episode 19 were great with Okabe resolved wanting to uh, let go of Mayuri to... Uh, let her make her own decision and he fully accepted that he was saying that a lab member 002 is uh, ready for operation arc light so he's slowly getting back to his old self and with those ost choices they never miss man they really did a fantastic job and i like how it was so uplifting and okabe explained to Maho exactly what happened and that we hacked into CERN and all the, the things we did. And Daru did the exactly same thing. He hacked into CERN and he made Amadeus operational as well, which was something that I wasn't expecting. But I'm very glad that we have uh, Amadeus with us as well. And everyone was here, fairies, Rukako, Moeka, man. It's just so nice to see them all together. and we reach the end of the episode where we see professor reyes kagari leskinen the organization's uh, helicopter coming in all at the same time man and once again it seems that they destroyed time machine they mentioned that they didn't find any bodies or remains so that was a bit confusing so after seeing that anyways okabe decides to time leap again so he will have to tell this story to Maho and Daru every time he time leaps and th this isn't anything new to him. He went through this hundreds of times before with uh, Alpha World Line and with Makisen, with Daru and everyone. So he's definitely no stranger to that thing, unfortunately. But yeah, I hope that this process won't take too many tries that we will be able to figure something out and i forgot to mention in previous video that i uh, watched puddle of fearful rain my patreon steve as always he's a great guy he's making sure i have the best experience possible he sent me that monologue and it's monologue of myris and it's just so heartbreaking and sweet man it's basically Myuri talking about her dream, about her dream of becoming Otihime. And uh, she considers Okabe to be Hikoboshi, of course. And it's so beautiful. That's uh, her wish. And it's connected to Tanabata Festival. I was reading about that and how uh, Otihime and uh, Hikoboshi are basically divided by milky way and that they are allowed to meet each other only uh, once a year on uh, 7th of july which is which was five days ago literally <laughs> so yeah i should mention that post ending uh, scene as well with the screen cracking and they showed the date it was still 2011 i, I believe so I'm very excited to jump into next episode. Without further ado, let's go, guys. Let's start episode 20. All right, everything is ready. Let us begin. I thought it was opening for a second. What the hell is this? Guys, what the hell? My god, bro, what the fuck is this start of the episode? Everyone is here. It seems like an illusion or something. Oh my god, bro. What the fuck is going on? Holy shit, bro. <laughs> He's literally standing on, on the clock, man. Paris Ruka Kodaru. Oh my god, bro. I'm getting episode 6 vibes of Steins Gate. Oh my god, like the time is stopped. 
<laughs> What is the meaning of this, bro? Wow, it seems like we are not even getting the opening. Oh boy, what the hell am I about to witness? Oh dear lord, Steins Gate. I fucking love this show. What the fuck is going on? Bro, this is... This is Okabe! Did time leap go wrong? Did he pass out or something? Barrel Titer? Is that Daru? Why the fuck does he look so older here? Yeah, the, the, okay, this is the last time we saw as well. Him time leaping again. Oh my god! No way! Guys! Is this 2036? How did he end up here? What on earth went wrong? Wait, did he really somehow went to the future? And he's so weak. Was this meaning behind that post-ending scene? Off-limits to civilians. This is definitely future, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> it's Suzuka. It's Suzuka 100%, bro. <laughs> I knew it. What the fuck is going on, though? What? Oh, oh my god. What the fuck is going on, What am I witnessing right now? Why doesn't she... Oh, she knows. Look at the destruction, man. Holy shit, but this place hasn't been in use, it seems, for a long time. Seems like this is their secret hideout. Oh, how? Why? Oh my god. <laughs> What the fuck? It's Daru! It's Daru from the future! He looks like the one who sent message to Suzuka of how are we in the future right now, man? What the fuck? Oh! How? 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 And he has memories from 2011. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> look at them. What's on earth? What went wrong? Oh, it was the fault of Time Leap Machine. Time Leap Machine was a doll she got under. Damn, bro. Ano Zikan ni Modoru Tameno, Yonju Hatizikan no limit to Koeta. Oh, Sekai wa Time Machine Dilon Omega Kiete Shimate soon and go. Book that you are Jibun Tachte. Part of Valkyrie. Keredo Sorewa Sekai to no Tatakai no Hajimari de Moata. Wow. That's what leads to war. 
そして父さんたちは世界中から狙われる立場に Damn, bro, what the shitty life they're hiding all this time、oh, so this is 2025 where Okabe is supposed to die, right? oh shit, they trapped him Oh my god, Okabe is always the same. ガンセスさせてくれタイムマシンをおかりあとは任せるおかりおかりおかりおかりおかりおかりおかりおかりおかりおかりおかりおかりおかりおかりおかりおかりおかりおかりおかりおかりおかりおかりおかりおかりおか
Guys, what the fuck? Oof, okay. He's standing, bro. <laughs> he changed so much, man. No! What the fuck? Oh my god, so many bits. Oh my god. <laughs> you were always a lab member. Why the fuck are they killing off Rukako just like that in the future? This is not fair. ルカシはずっとオカリンに会いたがってた。目を覚ます日をずっと待ってた。エンジンダイドセイムファッキングデイ、ブロー。その願いは。おおマイガードブロー。ウェネファーダファッキーゴース。ノーメダルワットタイム
they did not expect that at all, man. So that's why they show that post-ending scene with the screen cracking implying that something went wrong. That time leap machine screwed up and he's in 2036, man. He was in coma state for 11 years since 2025. So Okabe was captured and tortured, man. I'm so salty. To hear that what they did to my man Okabe man. Like he wasn't going through a lot. But anyway. Seeing him all bloody. And Daru said that he died that day. But not physically. He was not actually dead. Uh, he was dead inside of his heart. And he lost his will to, to live. And to push forward. Because of what happened. And. People were still fighting over him because he was closest to Makise's Kurisu's theory about time machine. And he said that he is leaving the rest up to Daru. That was so emotional. This episode was such a sudden, like the fucking train hit me right in the head, bro. I don't know how to feel. I don't know how to describe it, man. Like. They are showing me everyone from the future that didn't see Okabe for 11 years. And they were all so happy. And we see Bedes Rukako using the sword in fight. And Rukako dies, man. Holy shit. It was like he was waiting to see Okabe one last time before dying. That was so fucking sad and unexpected. And they are all... Um, military uh, trained and equipped and they are hiding there living a worst life possible with people dying around them all the time it's a miracle that they survived this far to be honest and we see daru who looks completely different i really like him and i really like how everyone looks uh, <laughs> very said maho uh, look literally the same and I really like that as well but yeah it was so sad to see Rukako die man like what the fuck and the fact that they didn't show too much emotion man that is so heartbreaking they literally get got used to people dying that's insane so in 2025 Okabe that went into coma state has awakened right now because his memories were rewritten by 2011 Okabe who was using time leap machine who wanted to go back and help Suzuka and Mayuri and he ended up in the future <laughs> oh my god and yeah Mayuri is not there but Suzuka is there it's very confusing it's very confusing to me Suzuha didn't even recognize Okabe, which tells me that this Suzuha is one uh, who was uh, born and raised without uh, venturing to the past. And she heard and probably saw Okabe only in coma state. She never spoke to him. So that was surprising to her to see Okabe winter, right? I don't know, man. It's so crazy. Okabe was asking for time leap machine. He wants to use it i assume to go to the past my question is how much did they improve time leap machine over the year the limit was 48 hours so i believe that they improved it <laughs> that's going to be very interesting i can't wait to find out man and i also liked how uh daru said uh, that okabe was saying before that he doesn't understand the damn thing and then Maho continued, but you also said this, that there is countless failed futures, the past that we cannot recover and that nothing is meaningless, that beyond all of that there is a way, a path to Steins Gate world line and with that music and that's when Okabe got motivated again and asked for time leap machine so i'm so happy that okabe is still like this man the insane power of will that okabe possess man 
that's my boy i guess that's all for today's video guys thank you so much for watching i really enjoyed it i hope you did enjoy my reactions as well if you did please consider subscribing leave a like comment all that good stuff as always if you are interested check out my patreon page where i post full length reactions the link is in the description i will be seeing you very soon with another video until then take care and have a nice day see ya guys